Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I want to give you a little behind the scenes look at a recent shoot I did with an Audi R8, one of the coolest cars on the planet. When I found out one of my friend's boyfriends had it, I was like, you gotta let me shoot that car. But unfortunately, because of the schedule, I, I only had literally one hour, and we're gonna shoot it in her garage in really, really tight quarters. I went with the standard setup that I use for detail car shots, which by the way, I completely learned from UK-based automotive photographer, Tim Wallace. Tim has some classes on Kelby Training, which I've watched again and again and again on how to do these detail shots. So I kind of knew what gear I wanted to, to bring. So we went in there and uh, we handheld the soft boxes. So I used some, some long strip banks. Basically, that's all we really took was long strip banks. Kind of one that's like maybe 14 inches wide by about four feet deep. So they're good and long. They have a nice long reflection. Um, and we put them in different places. I'm shooting at a very, very high f-stop, so basically everything falls off the black. You don't really want to see the garage, right? You don't want to see any of that stuff, so shooting at a high f-stop. But to shoot at f-22, I need a lot of power, so I really think I'm not going to bring speed lights out for this. I'm going to need to bring studio lights, which is normally what I do. And so this time, we went with these brand new lights. Uh, they're called Prio lights, and I learned about them at WPPI earlier this year. And uh, I gotta tell you, <laughs> I'll talk about them in just a minute, but they were very, very, very interesting and very different, kind of groundbreaking in their own way. But we used these lights and we were able to really, really move around quickly. Again, I only had literally, I probably had an hour if I had that. We got the shot done. You can see some of the shots uh, here and some of the behind the scenes stuff that we did. It's really, a really easy setup. Uh, I'm at about 100 ISO. We're using just one strip bank 90% of the time. We did bring a couple of stands, but when we wanted to work really, really fast, Brad would just take the strip light right off and just go. This is a Prio light right here, and here's what makes them so magical. Here's their kind of hook that I think is so great, is there is no cable, there is no battery pack. There's none of that. It's this is the battery pack. It's built right into the light itself. So you're not carrying a battery pack. All you're carrying is the strobe itself. It turns on and off right here. And what I, I, so I thought that was really no wire, no battery pack, no nothing. I thought that was cool. But the other thing that I fell in love with, with a regular battery pack, because you're running off a battery, there, there either is no modeling light, or if there is a modeling light, the modeling light will only stay on for 60 seconds or 90 seconds, then it goes out. When you're shooting cars, actually when you're shooting anything, you really need the modeling light on most of the time. This has an LED-based modeling light, so it stays on all the time. You can leave it on for an hour if you want, and it doesn't run down the battery that much because LEDs take such little power. So besides that, it also has an on light, so you can see you don't have to have an audible thing. So if you're shooting someplace where you don't want an audible beep, you can see it. And it has a controller. Now the controller controls just a ton of stuff. It doesn't just wirelessly turn it up or turn it down. But a couple things that I like, well, I'll give you my two favorite things, though it does a tremendous amount. Uh, number one is you can actually see the power of the lights on here. So as you switch from light to light, you can actually see what the power rating is. Number two is you don't have to use those little tiny batteries that you always lose and run out of. It actually uses regular old AA batteries. So that's the good part. The only bad part is because it uses three regular AA batteries, it's bigger. Now it doesn't get in the way you're shooting, it doesn't interrupt anything. But if I had to change anything about any of this, I wish this was smaller, but you kind of, how are you gonna get three AA batteries in something and make it much smaller? But, so that's the light themselves. Now, take a look and you can see how we're just taking it right off the light stand, moving right where we need to be. And it really is like using a hot shoe flash. Imagine a hot shoe flash with the power and advantage of studio flash and the LED light. Because even with a hot shoe flash, there's no modeling light really at all. I mean, it can kind of flicker at you for a moment, but there really isn't a, a modeling light. In this case, uh, we had it the whole time. Also, what was nice with, uh, with the Prio lights, they have a little uh, speed rig adapter you can buy. So I was able to use uh, all my Ellen Chrome soft boxes, the stuff that I already have and I already love. I can just pop them right on these, and I thought that was really cool. When we're just wrapping up, I decided at the last minute, let's try two strips. So we set two strips up, one on either side of the car, just to get this last final kind of shot here. And these Prio lights, the MBX 500, which is the one that we used, they're available at B&H Photo. Hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look of a one hour frenzied, but very, very wireless <laughs> shoot of an incredible car, the Audi R8.